We know you enjoy watching how crazy off-roaders are crawling rocks, climbing dunes, and getting through the mud. Therefore, in this episode, we will be showing you a lineup of the newest machines with extreme all-terrain potential. We have got off-road supercars, buggies, crazy bikes, and muscular SUVs. So join in the fun by subscribing to Automotive Territory and ringing the bell. Enjoy the ride! Lamborghini Ur Constorado. The bonkers concept study of 2019 was turned into the world's first dedicated off-road supercar. The Storado will have a limited production run of 900 units and will be the last variation of the Uricon, as well as the last naturally aspirated V10 Lamborghini. Since the engine was eating too much dust, side air intakes were blocked out and the rally bread machine now breathes through a high-level central air intake on the roof. The Lambo Storado rides 1.7 inches taller, has a wider track with massive Bridgestone Dweller all-terrain tires and standard all-wheel drive with a rally mode. These changes result in a slight downtune for the 5.2-liter engine and a limited top speed of 160 miles per hour, making it the slowest Lambo of this century. Mercedes G-Class by Delta 4x4 Even the most ridiculous amount of ground clearance and the fattiest tires won't be enough if you need to traverse snow. For this reason, Delta 4x4 fitted this G500 SUV with enormous Caterpillar tracks. To make enough room for the latter, the German tuner raised the G-Wagon by almost 8 inches, which is a massive addition to the stock model that already boasts 9.5 inches of standard ground clearance. Other off-road components include wider fender flares, a black skid plate, a set of LED light bars, a roof rack, and a modified front bumper. Nothing is said about powertrain upgrades, which means that to conquer snowy slopes, you will rely on the familiar twin-turbo V8 delivering 577 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. Another important note, the track kit which costs more than a new G500 is removable. Audi RSQ e-tron e2. This desert racer has already proven itself at the 2022 rally in Abu Dhabi, but for the 2023 season, engineers are totally reworking its body. In order to compete at the Morocco and Dakar rallies, the Audi RSQ e-tron e2 features a completely reworked aerodynamics package that lowers the drag coefficient by 15%, and the overall weight of the machine is itching closer to the race legal 4,600 pounds. Even though the top speed remains limited to 106 miles per hour, the energy requirements of the electric powertrain are going down. One more improvement for the RSQ e-tron e2 is the introduction of new 10-spoke rims from partner Rotiform, which are easier to handle during a puncture. Porsche 911 Dakar Whether at the red carpet events, cruising the streets of New York, Speeding at Le Mans or conquering dunes, the 911 is always at home. The latest spin on the legendary sports car made it capable to race the Dakar. The model adopts a new sport suspension that makes it sit 1.5 inches higher and gets a specially developed lift system that can add another 1.18 inches at speeds reaching 105 miles per hour. The car rides on 18-inch fronts, 20-inch rear wheels wrapped in all-terrain tires from Pirelli. The 911 bodywork is modified. There is extra front fascia protection, and the roof carries a special basket with an RTT, Porsche duffel, recovery boards, a water jug, and gas can. It also lights the way with built-in light bars. The power comes from a 3-liter twin-turbo flat 6, paired with an 8-speed PDK and all-wheel drive. Do you want to watch more off-road focused content on our channel? If so, make sure to smash the like button. In return, we promise to deliver. Thanks for the feedback. Let's keep rolling. Volkswagen ID Extreme Off-Road To showcase the abilities of the MEB platform, Volkswagen is turning their ID4 crossover into an off-road ready extreme concept. Already a formidable performer, the stock ID4 GTX gains a more powerful rear axle drive unit and new software, effectively increasing its output by 30%. Its dual motor AWD system now peaks at 388 horsepower while the 82 kilowatt hour battery is lifted off a used Volkswagen vehicle. The chassis of the ID4 is also enhanced with a raised, rally-ready suspension. The most noticeable update of the ID Extreme, though, 
is its 3D printed wide body kit that includes a new bumper, new crash member, wider wings, and a bull bar. Wheels are swapped for 18 inch off-roaders. The roof houses a new LED light bar and full aluminum underbody protection shields the battery pack from damage. Jeep CJ Surge. Built for the 2022 SEMA show, the CJ Surf concept showcases the brand's progress in the development of an electric conversion kit for a Risto mod enthusiast. The concept started as the CJ7 SUV from the late 70s that received a new battery-powered propulsion system. Here, a 400-volt motor rated for 268 horses is paired with a four-wheel drive system and two-speed transfer case. The battery array consists of 24 lithium-ion modules enclosed in custom-built shell and located behind the passengers. The model also comes fully prepared for off-roading. It gets a 2-inch lift, new 18-inch wheels wrapped in 35-inch BF Goodrich off-road tires, and Dana 44 crate axles on both ends. The final elements of the package are Jeep performance part skid plates, rock rails, Rubicon worn winch, and tow hooks. BMW Dune Taxi BMW have not officially announced their intentions to participate in the Spark Odyssey 21 Championship, but the unveil of the Dune Taxi prototype clearly hints that this is the case. The electric prototype has a homologated design to meet the requirements of the competition. Therefore, its powertrain comprises of a 54 kilowatt hour battery by Williams Advanced Engineering and a dual-motor all-wheel drive with 544 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque. The BMW Dune Taxi has 16 inches of suspension travel, can tackle incredibly steep hills like the Morb Dune with a 53 degree climb. All of the Spark Odyssey race cars have lightweight carbon fiber bodies, will get to 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds, and are limited to 106 miles per hour. Myers Manx 2.0 EV. Despite the name, this is actually the third incarnation of the iconic buggy-like off-roader that dates back to 1970s. A year prior to his departure at the age of 94, the founder of the company, Bruce Myers, transferred the ownership rights to the Truesdale Ventures who hired Thomas Freeman, the legendary designer behind the latest generation of Volkswagen Beetle. The new model is built around an aluminum monocoque with a 20 or 40 kilowatt hour battery hidden somewhere underneath the carbon fiber body. These packs store around 150 or 300 miles of range and juice the motor with 202 horsepower and 0 to 60 acceleration of 4.5 seconds. The Myers Max 2.0 EV rides on knobby tires and has an independent suspension with a trailing arm up front and a multi link in the rear. Daymac Combat E-Bike Fat tire electric motorbikes have been gaining popularity across Canadian wilderness, but Daymac went even further and decided to create a model that allowed potential owners to ride in all weather conditions. As standard, the new Combat E-Bike comes as a typical all-terrain two-wheeler, which relies on a mid-mounted 19-horsepower electric motor, full suspension, and knobby rubber. The snow kit included into the asking price allows us to swap the wheels for a snow bike rear track and a front ski. Daymax says that the whole conversion will require 60 minutes and a bit of technical expertise. A zero emission bike is wired to a removable 4.8 kilowatt hour battery pack, good for 50 miles of range. The top speed is limited to 44 miles per hour, though the company has not mentioned if these numbers are valid for the snow kit. Toyota GR Corolla Rally Concept one of the star debutantes of the latest SEMA show is based on the 2023 GR Corolla hatch, while its exterior is definitely inspired by the brand's GR Yaris rally car. Free of racing regulations, the concept boasts massive custom bodywork. This Corolla features huge 3-inch fender flares made of 20-gauge steel and matching side skirts made of carbon. There is also a carbon composite front splitter and a ginormous rear wing. The wide body kit is further complemented by OZ racing wheels measuring 8 by 17 inches and wrapped into Continental Viking Contact 7 tires. The standard brake system gets extra rear calipers, while the suspension is augmented with fully adjustable T-Ein gravel rally coilovers. 
the 1.6 liter three cylinder with 300 ponies remains unchanged, but it is complemented by a new custom exhaust. How would you rate the new batch of off-roaders? Any exciting models that pique your interest? Share your thoughts in the comments section below the video. Before you leave to watch YouTube Reels, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to Automotive Territory, and watch more informative videos on our channel. All of the suggestions are on the screen. May the torque be with you.